Okay, don't freak out. This is the hardest concept in all of Unit 1. This is called Terms of Trade. As you can see, I already set up the grid showing you the per unit opportunity cost for country X and the per unit opportunity cost for country Y. Now, if you don't know how to set this up, I want you to go watch the video lessons in the unit menu. As you can see from the numbers, country X has a comparative advantage in cars because they have a lower opportunity cost than country Y. Right? And country Y should produce corn because they have a lower opportunity cost than country X. So I circled the country that has the lower opportunity cost and therefore a comparative advantage. But why does trading one car for three corn benefit both countries? Well, how do we look at one of the other numbers? Let's say one car for one corn. All right? Does this benefit both countries? Country X does not want this deal. All right? If they decide to produce corn themselves, they have to give up a half a car. In this situation, they have to give up a whole car. Right? They have to give up one car and gain a corn. Might as well produce the corn themselves and just give up a half a car. Now, country Y loves this idea. Now, what if we had one car for 10 corn? Country X likes this idea, but country Y hates this terms of trade. Why? Well, they have to give up 10 corn to get one car. Now, they're producing corn already. This situation, if they produce it themselves, they give up 6 corn and they get a car. Why would they want to trade and give up 10 corn to get just one car? Now, it's okay if you're at a loss right now. I've got a trick for you, okay? If you're trying to figure out the right terms of trade, all you got to do is set up a chart and look right here. One car for two corn, one car for six corn. Any number in between that would work. In other words, one car for three corn works, one car for four, one car for five. But if it's one car for one corn or one car above six corn, it's not going to be beneficial for both countries. Now, the same thing applies over here. Any number between one half and one six works. So, one corn for one third a car would benefit both countries. Right? Now, terms of trade questions are more likely to be asked on macro tests as opposed to micro tests. 